Hello, and welcome once again to Employee Engagement Conversations. I am Debika Choudhury, Gallup coach and co-founder of Elzix Foundation. Today's discussion is going to be about when trust fades, organizations fail. Are you questioning the purpose of being in your job due to constant politicking at work or due to your manager's inability to manage relationships? Well, you're not alone. Our jobs constitute over 50% of our waking hours, making it crucial to have a manager who balances relationships with results. HBR states that employees are more likely to be engaged and less likely to quit when they have such a manager. In fact, employees with a manager in the 90th to 100th percentile are 60% more willing to go the extra mile compared to those with managers in the first to ninth percentile. Remember, a transactional manager is responsible for more disengaged employees versus one who takes care to build relationships. Gallup's meta-analysis of decades worth of data shows high engagement largely defined as having a strong connection with one's work and colleagues feeling like a real contributor and enjoying ample chances to learn, thereby consistently leading to rewards, including higher productivity, better quality products, and increased profitability. It is essential to prioritize building a culture of trust to create a successful and sustainable workplace. To get to this, one cannot just enthrall employees through picnics or karaoke nights. Higher compensation has also failed to retain or engage employees when manager relationships go south. When organizations have a culture of trust, employees feel safe. They can openly share their views without the fear of judgment. They collaborate better and are willing to go that extra mile to ensure goals are met. They suffer less stress, less burnout, and are joyous to come back to work the next day and the next. Paul J. Zak, in his experiments on human behavior based on trust, discovered that compared with people at low trust companies, people at high trust companies reported 70% less stress, 106% more energy at work, 50% higher productivity, 13% fewer sick days, 76% more engagement, 29% more satisfaction with their lives, 40% less burnout. This is in high contrast to situations where anxiety and stress is high and trust low. According to Zach, trust can be built in companies through the following ways. First point, recognizing excellence is crucial in any organization. When employees meet their goals, it is important to acknowledge their efforts. Recognizing achievements in the company pushes the power of the crowd to celebrate success. Sharing it inspires others and helps organizations to look at best practices. Bob Chapman, CEO, of Barry Wemiller Companies understands the importance of recognizing excellence. His team started a program where employees at each plant nominate an outstanding peer annually. Plant leaders kick off the ceremony by reading the nominating letters about the winner's contributions and bring it to a close with the keys to a sports car given to the winner who gets to drive it for a week. Though the recognition isn't immediate, it is tangible, unexpected, and both personal and public. By having employees help pick the winners, everyone, not just the people at the top, have a say in what constitutes excellence. As a result of this program, the company has grown from a single plant in 1987 to a conglomerate that brings in 2.4 billion in annual revenue today. 
Let's recognize excellence in our own organizations and encourage our peers to do the same. Did you know that 76% of people across industries reported that their best days involved making progress towards challenging goals? As managers, inducing challenge stress by assigning teams difficult but attainable goals can lead to team members coordinating their behavior and actions to reach the goal. However, it is important for leaders to assess progress and adjust goals that are either too easy or too difficult. Let's strive for progress and challenge ourselves to reach new heights. Recently, I shared a video on the importance of autonomy in workplace performance and engagement. By training individuals and giving them the freedom to work, they show greater ownership, innovation and risk management. According to 2014 Citigroup and LinkedIn survey, almost half of the employees would give up a 20% raise for greater control over how they work. I believe mentors must show people how to work, then allow them the independence to excel. What are your thoughts on autonomy in your workplace? Job crafting and job redesigning can lead to higher employee engagement and productivity. When companies entrust their employees to choose projects where they can contribute the most, employees feel valued and more responsible for their work. An example of this is Valve, a gaming software company that conducts 360 degree feedback at the end of each project to assess the contributions of their team members. The team members are free to choose the projects in which they wish to work. By giving employees more autonomy and trust, companies can foster a culture of ownership and accountability that ultimately leads to success. Did you know that only 40% of the employees believe that information is shared broadly within their organizations? This lack of transparency can lead to uncertainty, grapevine and disengagement among workers. To combat this, managers must communicate daily beyond just transactional updates. Empower employees to work with a stress-free mind. Remember, information sharing enables trust and helps create a positive work environment for everybody. A Google study found that managers who express interest in and concern for team members in success and personal well-being outperform others in the quality and quantity of their work. Stop being a boss and become a coach if you want more from your team. The question managers need to ask their employees is, am I helping you to get the next job? Youngsters are looking at growth as one of the key takeaways from their jobs. What are you doing to facilitate that? When managers don't just provide support, but also seek help from their team, they move from their high pedestal of I know all to one where I need you. Such behaviors stimulate innovativeness and trust in the teams. The world's top 10 most trusted brands for 2022, according to the CEO magazine are What are you doing to get there? Thank you for watching. If you have any queries, then reach out to us at debika at We are always happy to respond to your emails.